welcome to the Rocket City, Huntsville, Alabama. Today we're going to show you a very cool virtual reality experience they currently have here at the Rocket Center. It is called Apollo 11 VR. It helps you experience what it might have felt like to be on the Apollo 11 mission 50 years ago. It will make you think you're walking on the moon. Come on, let's go learn and have some fun! When you visit the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, you'll see many things that make you dream of what it might have been like for you to take a trip to the moon. Currently, there's an exhibit here that will make those dreams seem like reality, Apollo 11 VR. The VR stands for Virtual Reality. As part of the 50th anniversary celebration of the first moon landing, Apollo 11 VR is at the Space and Rocket Center through the end of 2019. It is a virtual reality experience that puts you in the middle of the action as a member of the Apollo 11 crew. You sit in a specially designed chair, wearing a VR headset. A rocket center worker helps you put on your headset and adjust the focus so you can see perfectly. In front of you is a computer screen so your friends and family can see what you're seeing. This VR experience is in 3D. So with your headset on, you can look all around you, and it feels like you can reach out and touch what you're seeing. Because it's a motion simulator, it can make some people feel dizzy and sick. If you start to feel sick, you just raise your hand, and a rocket center worker will stop the show and help you. Apollo 11 VR offers two different experiences you could choose from, Demo 1 and Demo 2. They are very similar with just a few differences. Demo 1 lasts about 10 minutes. Demo 2 is a little longer at 12 minutes. We're going to show you a combination of both so you can choose which one you would want to experience. Demo 1 starts with the voice of Apollo 11 Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin talking about the Saturn V rocket. As he talks, you get a good view of the 363 feet tall rocket. Demo 1 and Demo 2 show the next scene. You are sitting in the seat of Command Module Pilot Michael Collins. It is July 16th, 1969. You are on the launch pad waiting for Apollo 11 to blast off. While you look around, you hear the actual audio from launch control from that day. Sitting right next to you is Neil Armstrong. Buzz is over there on the far right. Don't forget this is in 3D, so it feels like you can reach out and touch all of the switches and instruments right in front of you. You can look down and see the hands of Michael Collins. You can't move the hands, but you can see them. You can look out the window and you can see the beautiful Florida sunshine. Finally, the MOBA has come for blastoff, and Apollo 11's date with destiny. Your seat starts to vibrate and rumble to fool your brain into believing you're actually taking off. If you look over to your right shortly after liftoff, You'll catch a glimpse of Neil Armstrong giving you a thumbs up. Look out the window and it starts getting darker as you escape Earth's atmosphere. Look, there's the moon! Your chair stops vibrating when the main engine turns off. Neil and Buzz's hands come up because you are now in zero gravity. 
A loose ink pen in the capsule floats by in front of you. Check it out! If I lean forward, I can go right through the pen. The next scene can only be seen in Demo 1. We are now in orbit over the Earth. You could see the sun starting to rise over the horizon. The third stage of the Saturn V rocket comes into view, and you can hear the countdown for TLI. TLI stands for Translunar Injection. It's a fancy way of saying, we're going to shoot you to the moon now. The camera passes by the rocket and takes you all the way around it. Again, with the VR headset on, this is all in 3D. This camera move is the point where some people get dizzy. I got a little dizzy, but I kept going. Thank you. Roger out. Ignition. We confirm ignition and the thrust is go. That J2 engine on bottom of stage 3 fires up. We start to escape Earth's orbit and we are on our way to the moon. This next scene is only part of Demo 2. We are now in lunar orbit on the dark side of the moon, 87 miles above the moon's surface. As the Beatles would say, here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. If you don't get that joke, just ask your parents. There is the lunar module on the left, docked with the command module on the right. Michael Collins will stay in the command module orbiting the moon, while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin pilot the lunar module down to the moon's surface. The next scene is also only part of the longer Demo 2. Now you are inside the Lunar Module, standing in the shoes of Lunar Module Commander Neil Armstrong. It is time for the historic first lunar landing. Over to your right is Buzz Aldrin. If you look behind you, you can see the helmets you will soon be wearing to go walking on the moon. It is fun to lean forward and look out the window as the surface gets closer and closer. Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Retro, go, I don't go, guys, go. Control, go, 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 Capcom, we're go for landing. Eagle Houston, you're go for landing, over. If you are familiar with the landing of Apollo 11, you probably know that there were a series of master alarm warnings that activated. The onboard guidance computer was being overloaded with information causing the alarm to go off. The master alarm is that large red button that is lit up. Mission Control tells Buzz to clear the alarm and the mission continues. Let's lean forward and look at that one closer. We copy you down, Eagle. Okay, everybody, T1, stand by, T1. Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. When you land safely on the moon, look to your right and you can see Buzz Aldrin smiling. And now, the final scene of both Demo 1 and Demo 2. July 21st, 1969. Man first walks on the moon. You are now on the surface of the moon looking at Neil Armstrong, preparing to step off the landing pad and onto the moon. Wait, if I'm standing here looking at Neil, doesn't that mean that I'm the first person to walk on the moon? It's called Apollo 11 virtual reality, not Apollo 11. Alternate reality. Yeah, now step off the lamp now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Once again, take it all in. Look at the lunar module. Look around at the moon's surface. Look up in the sky and you can see the Earth. Neil comes bouncing right by you. 
Then it ends with the words, left mounted on the base of the Apollo 11 lander that is still on the surface of the moon to this day. Here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969 AD. We came in peace for all mankind. The Apollo 11 VR experience is something that you just need to do, but time is running out. That's right. Word is that it will only be at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center through the end of the year 2019. It costs $8 for members and $10 for non-members. Hurry and have some fun that is out of this world. The last time we were at the Rocket Center, we noticed something unusual. Many of the railings have foam padding on them, and many of the steps had neon tape. Some of the display cases with sharp corners even had foam on them. We asked one of the employees what was up with that, and they explained that this week they were holding space camp for the visually impaired, and that all the bright tape and foam bumpers were there to help them get around the museum easier. They do every activity they do normally in space camp. The manuals they use are even printed in braille. There were 182 kids participating in this year's camp. One of the local TV stations came out and did a story about it. The link to that video is in the description box below. It is so cool that these kids get to do this. Yes. Having gone to space camp myself, and knowing how much fun it is, I am very happy to know that blind kids get to have that great experience too. Great job, Rocket Center. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something, and we hope you had a blast.